to What's Cooking at Gloucester County Library System. Today we're going to be making a simple pie crust and blueberry pie. So first we would like our ingredients. We need oil, some cinnamon, milk, flour, butter, salt, sugar, and some blueberries that I have stolen. So first we start with one and a half cups of flour. So we're going to go ahead and get that going. One and a half cups of flour. One. And a half. So we need just one and a half teaspoons of sugar. And if you're like me, um, the old-fashioned rollout pies crust have um, eluded your ability. So this is giving you a chance that you can make pies for your family, uh, homemade pies, without any hassle at all. Just one teaspoon of salt. A half a cup of oil. I did go ahead and pour that. Move our oil out of the way. And just two tablespoons of milk. One, two. I'm just going to go ahead and stir that up. See if we can do that with our spatula here. Yep, and it's already starting to look like something. It's looking like a nice crust already. And so this is called a press crust. So the reason we call it a press crust is because we're going to press that into our pie plate. So you don't have to do anything special. You have our pie plate. We're going to go ahead and dump our crust right in there. And then we're just going to go ahead and press it in. So we're going to press the bottom, kind of fan it out so that way we have a little bit everywhere. I know I, I like that crust on the side. Let's try to get that up there on the side. Just pressing it with my fingers. Even distribution, pressing down at the bottom. I know sometimes they make the edges kind of pretty. So if we can get a little extra at the top, we could try to make it at least even. Because what we're going to do is it's going to be a crumb topping. So we don't really have to worry about the edges. Okay, great. I think our bottom piece of our crust is ready. So let's just put that to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put the oven on bake. 425 to go ahead and preheat and let's work on the blueberry filling. Now let's use this bowl and I'm going to flip my recipe over. It calls for a half a cup of sugar, one third cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and now we mix those ingredients together and now we, we're going to stir in the blueberries and then sprinkle with a little lemon. So I have four cups of frozen blueberries that have been thawed a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and dump them right in here. So how I thawed them, I, I took my blueberries out and I just put them in a strainer and I um, ran some water through it and then just did it that way. Okay, we're just mixing the blueberries right in there, kind of coating each. I want all the blueberries to be covered with this. Uh, mixture. So let's go ahead, pop that right into our pie. See how quick this is? We're going to go ahead and pop it right into our pie. Let's scrape the bowl a little bit, get all those juices. And it calls for a tablespoon of lemon. You can just squeeze a little lemon over top. And now we're going to go ahead and put that to the side. Let's mix the top layer of our crumb um, pie. So 
we need one cup of flour. We'll go ahead and use this bowl again. It doesn't matter. We're still making pie crust. So one cup of flour. And my recipe calls for a cup of sugar and a cup of butter, but I did cut that recipe and it's turned out delicious. So we're just going to use a half a cup of sugar. It should be plenty for our crumb topping. And as you see, I have a half a cup of butter, but what I did is I went ahead and microwaved it for about 40 seconds to make it liquid. So I'm going to just dump that right in there. Grab my spatula and then we're going to mix that together. And this should be a nice um, crumb topping. So ideally when you start um, making your pie, you'll throw your oven on at 425 uh, initially, so that way it has time to preheat by the time you're finished making your pie. So here's our pie. And you just use your fingers. Now this would be fun for the kids too. They can just kind of um, squeeze it and make it a little crummy. And then you just crumb on top of it. Place it right on top. See, it really doesn't matter that you got the edges don't have to be scalloped of your pie because you have this beautiful crumb going all the way to the edges. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pop that in the oven for 35 to 45 minutes, looking for the top to be brown. Hi, welcome back. It's time to take the pie out of the oven. I heard it go off at 35 minutes and it is really ready to come out. It's nice and brown at the top. And let me see, I can maybe cut a piece and show you what it'll look like. Not the best pie cutter. Really doesn't matter the look so much as what it's going to taste like. So there we go. Enjoy. Bon appetit. Thank you.